You know what's gold? All the treasure Indiana Jones finds? Yes, but also the VIP and Jurassic World Alive. I wish I'd gotten it a month sooner, actually, because I have been farming more DNA than all McDonald's farm animals could handle. I've gathered so much DNA, you need a Costco membership to experience it. Like Tarbosaurus over here, I've got 200,000 Tarbosaurus DNA. And then Raptor, I've maxed out and gone even further beyond. Now, I've had VIP for a couple days now. It has been absolutely heavenly. It's like darting with Super Saiyan and works well with the gigasins and supply drops. And the range is out of this world. I mean, look at it. Everything the drone touches is your kingdom. But for every aspect of the game, it gives you nothing. Absolutely nothing. Everything else is the same that everyone else gets. No exclusive incubators after winning a gauntlet traumatizing battle. No extra access to boosts. The deals in the market are, well, boring. I have a lot of problems with the VIP, which is why I will unfriend it when this pandemic is over. I can literally make an entire separate video on how insulting and unbeneficial the VIP is in this game. <laughs> However, thou aren't here for that. You're here for the new update and the new creatures we've gotten. So we're gonna come all the way down here and first on our list, I've actually been anxious to see, is the Grylenkin. Grylenkin. So let's go ahead and unlock this bad birdie. And let's see, 1841 health, not a lot of attack, has actually pretty good speed for this game. So let's see, I can get it up much, ooh, and it has 10% armor, that can come in handy. So let's see, it has distraction, immobilize, raking claws, evasive stance, and it is immune to swap prevention, immune to deceleration, and simple rending counterattack. All those damages I feel like can really add up. This I see has potential. Not sold on it yet, but we're gonna find out later in this episode, so stay tuned. I have also unlocked the Majungo Boa. So let's go ahead and create this bad boy. Oh, it's an epic too. I didn't even realize that. All right, so let's see what you are. You've been all the latest rave in the chats lately, so let's see. 1731 hit point, 480 attack, which that's actually not a lot of attack. 110 speed, not too shabby. Shielded decelerating strike, good start. Cleansing impact, ferocious strike, and precise impact. Okay, that gets around almost everything, except for shields. But it is also immune to distraction, raking counter attack when receiving and surviving direct damage, Remove, dodge, and cloak, and attack times one by bypassing armor. That's one of the new things that Ludia put on their form that'd be in the game, and that's... That is directly for Indoraptor Gen 2. Directly. Wow. And then the On Escape Dust Cloud. When an opponent leaves, gain 50% damage for two turns and become invincible for one turn. This, I could see... Oh my gosh, this, I will say this now, this will wreck the tournaments if people boost its attack. Oh my gosh. The, I could see this being very, very toxic in the tournaments. <laughs> but that's not all we're here for. I have also gotten the Innostrensivia, the new common they've introduced. And also, while I was waiting for some stuff to upload, uh, we ran into a Sukotaurus, the new epic. So let's go ahead and create this bad boy and see if it has a hybrid. That is pretty cool. So let's see, ooh, 2,000, so already a lot more hit point than the Majunga Boa. Actually the same attack, but it's faster. 25% armor and 5% critical chance. And let's see, so now this is also a new feature in the game with the revenge. So if you send it in after a dino was just killed, then it gets a revenge move added onto its move. So for this one, it is revenge decelerating impact. So normally, the move is reduce target speed by 50% for two turns, and it's the attack of this is 1.5 damage. And cooldown one. So now if you send it in directly after a dino's been, well, killed. Uh, the revenge is reduced target speed by 50% for two turns and attack two times. 
So it's kind of, I would say, a balance to something by you being killed by something that's so OP with boosts. But then again, it's it still doesn't counter the boosts. Everyone needs to have access to all these boosts. At first, it was a problem because not everyone had them. But now everyone needs them for the boost to be fair again. And the next move on our list is Revenge Protection. Gain 50% uh, shield two turns, attack times one, but if you use it right after it was sent in, gains 50 field. Whoa, gains 50% shield for four turns and attacks times one. That. I am. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. That's pretty cool. So now, last Thursday, I've kept my new toy sealed in its original package because, well, so I can make a video on it. But then they announced the update, so here we are. So, let's abandon my fisherman's patience, and let's open this one cool, uh, furry Franklin. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I am actually so excited to unlock this guy. Because, oh my gosh, Thylacotator is good, but not up to par with some of the other guys. And, and, I will give it a boost to reach the top shelf cookie jar and raise the attack to 883 because this guy, I have faith in this guy. So we're going to change up a bunch of teams here because we're going to showcase some new dinosaurs. So we're going to swap out my Thylocotator for my smile enemies and then we're going to introduce all the new dinos. So we're going to modify this here. I have made an agreement with WeebYT here to help me showcase the new dinosaurs in the game. So here we go. Eventually. Weeb. Weeb. Back in we go, I guess. That's actually a cool loading screen. Which also, thank you, the Nerd Herd, our alliance. Thank you so much for participating in the alliance championship and kicking butt. You guys did great, and our weekly missions have been so on fire, so, oh. What? I was just praising my alliance, what the heck? There we go, alright, so now let's showcase some new dinosaurs, because eventually we're going to get one in here, I bet. Because they're lower levels, which I think I figured out the rigging in this game. Oh, here we go! Oh my gosh, a beautiful starting lineup. So let's just go ahead and throw out the Majunga Boa. Just see what it can do in this perfectly even field of level 26s. Oh, let's see. So I am surprisingly faster. 1, 7, 1, 10. All right, so um, he can't get past shield, so, but I have a counter. So I'm going to use Ferocious Strike. Yeah, Ferocious Strike. And he is... Gonna use superiority strike. Um, I can be decelerated, right? So he's gonna go faster. But I have a rending counter. I have a counter. So, and, but this also bypasses armor. So it's gonna be yeah, fifth. Wait, oh, because of the boost. Yeah, so fifteen hundred. Yes. So now we're gonna go for a shielded decelerating strike here, and he might have lost connection. <laughs> Uh, well, Ludia, I guess you did not update the player versus players. Or the uh, friendly battles. Alrighty, so shielded decelerating strike. So now I should be faster. And we're going to go ahead and just use another... Uh, we're going to use another shielded decelerating strike. Yeah, he lost connection. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad to see Ludi is on top of things. I don't mean to be too harsh on Ludia. I love this game so much. The models in here are so realistic, I just fall in love with this game every day. But the mechanics need some work. So, we just took out a Majunga Bow. Oh, we just took out that. And, ooh, he's faster. Let's see. Uh... Well, if he's not there, he's just going to use Superiority Strike. <laughs> uh, so we will use Shielded Decelerating Strike. Uh, 
And he'll still be faster next turn. But I set myself up because... Wait, will the shield get through? Oh yeah, he has a lot of attack. And I don't have any armor, so... Ooh, but since I'll die, I'll be able to use the new revenge feature. So let's let go ahead and kill Majungaboa. Evaporate his existence. No. <laughs> and then revenge, Suktosaurus. So let's see now. It's yes, the revenge is activated. This is awesome. So we are gonna use the. This is one time attack, but I gain shield for four turns, so we'll go ahead and use that actually. I'll be decelerated, that's okay. Because he'll just, so now the revenge feature goes away. So I, uh, I like that, I like that feature. I mean, I say that now, this is the first time I've used it, but I bet you when I go into the battles, oh my gosh, that's going to be so terrible. I hope they did not add that revenge feature to any of like the meta. Oh my gosh, there is no way Ender Raptor Gen 2, Gemini Titan, Ardentus Maxima should have any kind of revenge feature. No, they, they need to just stay how they are, except for Ender Raptor Gen 2. Ender Raptor Gen 2 needs a nerf. I didn't even check if he got nerfed. Actually, no, I bet he didn't. He was not in the patch notes. And here we are. This is where things could get bad. Very bad. So let's do superiority strike here. And he's probably still not there. I'm rambling on, not even paying attention to the battle. <laughs> Typical day. So yeah, he's probably still not there. Oh, weeb. You fought a good match. And you could have seen the new features. But darn, that darn Ludia. Alright, so I'm faster. So now I can use decelerating. No, revenge decelerating impact. I, d I actually did not check. I hope not all decelerating impacts became revenge. I really hope not. Actually, you're probably, they probably did. Now that I think about it. So who has this? Ooh! Our Dentist Maxima has decelerating impact. The I need to check this, actually. Ooh, that's a. Uh, that could be very bad. That could be very, very bad. Okay, come on, you Indoraptor. Just die already. Okay, yeah, you got past that time. Duh! Now, Kelikin does. or Grykolin does not have a revenge move, I don't think. But. These moves are fantastic for it because, uh, I mean, a swap perfection. So it has the rending counter. We're gonna use. Why am I faster? Oh, because superiority strike. So we're gonna use the. Uh, did did Weeb get back on? Hi Weeb. Uh, you missed out on the battle. <laughs> uh, and he is faster. He's gonna use his defense shattering. So I'll go for. Evasive stance. Wah! Oh wait, evasive stance got a uh, new animation. Wait, what did that say? <gasps> the rending counter. Ha <laughs> ha! Breaking class. Oh, but I dodge. Yes. And rending counter. Wow. Okay, this bird is actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. Just from what I just experienced. That's. I am perplexedly mind blown right now. That was actually a great team that I used. The Majunga Boa, I think, is better than anyone ever anticipated, especially in the tournaments. Oh my gosh. So let's check out Ardennes Maxima, now that I think about the terror here. No revenge decel. Okay, so not all of the decelerating impacts became revenge. This is good. Do not change this, Ludia. <laughs> But yeah, Endoraptor Gen 2 did not get a nerf. But I actually showcased all the dinosaurs. I am so happy with this. Oh, well, no, not the moment. I'll go later. 
Wow. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. But if you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.